So moving on, I want to give you two submission techniques. So a submission technique in a real life situation would be me breaking a joint. So the wrench, what we're going to talk about first, it breaks the shoulder joint. And then the Camaro will also be breaking the shoulder joint, but we'll be applying them from different positions. Now, if you go against an adversary who doesn't have any self-defense knowledge on the ground, you will get these techniques a lot. So I really want to show them to you. It's a great way to nullify a larger attack. All right. So I think about it. I we go to the ground. I get my position. I lock in. I break the shoulder. I tear the muscles and I'm going to run away. Okay. So from here, I'm in my mounted position. Now I get on Sensei Joe from here. So we're coming in. I'm trying to, to do all my self-defense strikes. I'm coming in. I see that his arm is blocking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross pin and push it to the mat. So as I cross pin, I'm going to grab it and use my weight to kind of fall on it, fall down. Now, from this position, I'm at a 90 degree angle. My elbow's in his face. I'm holding his wrist down. I'm going to take my hand, my other hand, slide underneath, and then grab onto my own wrist. So it'll be like this. So as I do this, I'm sliding in, I'm hooking it, I'm not letting go of this. Here's the trick. This right foot, the opposite of where the wrench is, is going to grapevine his leg out. So I'm hooking it from here. I'm going to take this wrench and lock it in. By lock it in, I mean bring it down to my knee. You can feel when the, your partner gets tight, and I'm going to apply pressure backwards. So I'm going to start to push his elbow to the sky and his fist backwards. And this, when he taps, that's when I know he feels it. So if you're practicing with a partner, you want to go slow because injuries won't really happen if you go slow. They're only going to happen if you go like really fast or faster than he expects. So if you go slow, you'll minimize that risk of injury. So I will take from the top. I'm here. I'm throwing strikes. I see the arm. I know what I want to do because I know he doesn't know what I'm doing. So I put my weight and fall to it, right? Now, I'm going to start to hook his legs. I can do both grapevines. They're just hooks. You can see my nice purple sneakers. From here, I'm going to take this, come underneath. I'm going to bring it up so you can see it. See how I'm at? Now, from here, I'm going to slide it down to lock it in and then push his elbow up towards his head and his fist back, and that'll be a wrench. 